Good evening everybody. Thank you very much for joining in. This is 95th in the series wherein we are going to speak a very very interesting topic which is very relevant for a corporate treasurer in India today. The topic is titled Volatility in USD INR and Put Option Derivatives. As we understand that INR is facing a big volatility and in the last few sessions INR has faced tremendous volatility and now it is trading roughly 68.54 levels. I hope you must be aware about the fact that the two largest sovereign wealth fund Sovereign Wealth Fund is a financial institution who basically accumulate money from sometimes from the petrodollars and sometimes from the non-petrodollars. So a Sovereign Wealth Fund already asked or in fact challenged Reserve Bank of India that if INR would continue to depreciate then they will think about their carry trades in India. So we can very well estimate the fact that the depreciation of the INR has reached till the level when even the carry trades of Sovereign Wealth Fund because we need to understand that in India Carry trades are done by sovereign wealth fund, foreign institutional investors, foreign sometimes by uh, sometimes by portfolio investors, hedge funds, and others. So the depreciation of the INR has reached till that level that it has already impacting the carry trade of these institutional investors. Now, what about a corporate treasure? Now, this presentation will take you through the how to hedge your INR receivables and how to hedge your INR receivables using put option derivatives because put option is stands for exporters. Now as we understand that INR is trading at 68.54 right so the spot price in this has taken at 68.54. Now we have assumed the period of 1 month, 3 months, 6 months, 9 months and 12 months. Now the implied volatility for 1 month is 6.64, 7.1343, 7.68, 8.28 and 8.60. This is for bids. Bids means importer. And for ask, this is 7.79, 8.28, 8.83, 9.13, and 9.55. Add the money forward. Add the money forward is what? Or we already discussed, but let me clarify again. Add the money forward is nothing but spot plus premium. And here, here I assume the charge of one fourth of a pesa. So this is add the money forward. So add the money forward for one month is 68.54 plus the premium minus one fourth of a pesa the net stands at 68.96 now add the money forward bid is this add the money forward ask is this now if you now this presentation will talks about how to take a put put derivative there are two ways to take a put derivative option one when you do add the money spot example which is add the money spot Add the money spot is your add the money spot is 68.54. But we are not doing that. We are taking add the money forward. We are taking the example of one month, which is 68.96. But we are not doing the valuation of the put contract using add the money option. Add the money forward put option. We are doing the valuation using out of the money. Now what is out of the money? So out of the money forward is nothing but add the money forward minus one implied wall. In nutshell, we generally uh, refer them as a one implied wall away. Now what is one implied wall away? Now we had taken this implied wall. This is for bids and this is for ask. Now if you're talking about put option, then in that sense, we will take an implied wall of bid, right? Now if you take the implied wall of a bid, now these are the respective, these are the respective implied walls and the pricing are taken from the Thomson Reuters. So, particular person who is having a foreign currency receivable to sell, he would sell one month using a put contract, which is this 64.38. So for one month, if he is going to sell a forward contract, he would have got 68.96, but he is doing the one month put I'm writing in bracket and he would get 64.38. Now what is the benefit? As we understand that INR is continuously depreciating and there are a lot of projections in the market. We suggest that by the summer 2016, INR would may go to 72 and 73. Now in that sense, it is very, very important for corporate treasurer to make sure that they would be able to get a good price of their receivables. If you book a forward contract today for one month, you will get 68.96. Seems very fancy. But if you sincerely, but what would if on maturity, you will get a rate, you will get a rate of uh, basically 72 and 73. 
and as we understand that globally market is into a recession companies are downsizing in fact there are talks are going on that the yahoo as a company is willing to sell the entire stake in the market and would like to shut down we need to understand that yahoo as a company is facing very very poor leadership from mary samir and that is a result yahoo is on the verge of selling but nonetheless this is not the topic of the video so overall the global market is in recession and we are going to face the new so and very soon now in that sense we cannot expect any appreciation in the inr because when the new government spawn in the new government spawn at 58 lot of talks happened that from 58 it will go to 54 it will go to 52 whatever but sincerely you you yourself know that in the last one and half years it went to 68 and in fact it is trading at 68.54 so rather than booking your booking your contracts using a plain vanilla forwards you should book via you should book via put option and that to out of the money forward now the purpose of the video is also to introduce you one more aspect of out of the money forwards now here as a trainer i am telling you that out of the money forwards is at the money minus 1 implied walls you can have multiple ways there are treasurers who are saying out of the money forward is nothing but Add the money forward minus half implied wall. You can take minus three upon four implied wall. You can say minus. Uh, I would say one by four implied walls. So this you can change. Generally, what people are doing that it is add the money forward minus point five wall away, point eight wall away, minus one wall away. I am always using one wall away. One wall away. One wall away means one implied wall away. So in nutshell, you can have that structure in your mind wherein you can adjust your uh, your your receivables. There is a counter argument against that. The counter argument is that now take an example of a twelve month contract. The counter argument suggests if today I sell a twelve month contract, I will get a forward rate of seventy three. And if I do an option contract. I will get a rate which is this. I will get a rate of sixty six point seven five seven five six three. Now, if I do this, people are saying that the you are losing approximately seven rupees. But we tend to forget that we can convert options into forwards any time. Please be noted, options can convert into forward any time. What would happen if INR will go to seventy five and you can convert this option into a forward contract? But a forward contract cannot be converted into option contract. It may be, but it's it is not very easy. You need to cancel. But an option contract is very very easily can be convertible into forward contract. There are a lot of companies in India. I cannot name, but they what they are doing. They are taking an option contract when INR is high and they converting it to forward contract when INR go high, when INR go higher high. Now, as we understand that buy put is the thing. But it is a derivative instrument when you are going to sell your receivable at an agreed rate to a bank. When you sell at an agreed rate to a bank, you will pay some cost. Now this is a cost. Now if you sell for one month, the cost is just zero. If you sell for three months, the cost is eighty eighty three dollars. If you sell for six months, the cost is eight hundred and nine dollars. If you sell for nine months, the cost is roughly two thousand two hundred. And if you sell for one year, the cost is approximately three thousand dollars. Please be note that as per accounting standard FS one double three. So F is one double three US gap and IFR is thirteen. You can amortize that premium. So today, if you are doing a one year put option contract and you are doing the valuation, you are paying roughly three thousand dollars. Then you can amortize that by paying divided by twelve, which is approximately two hundred and fifty dollars per month. And the valuation, the cost is taken, assuming that the notional price of the contract is one million, and one million is a very big amount. So one million is not a small amount. So if you are doing a five five hundred thousand dollars contract, then this three thousand would automatically or automatically reduce to fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred divided by twelve is approximately not more than hundred dollars per month. So in nutshell, the purpose of the video is to introduce you that you should hedge your receivable using using put contract because this will protect your downside and upside. If INR will go higher, you let this worthless. Via Tokyo cut because earlier we had a lot of videos which which suggest that you can do via Tokyo cut. If INR will go worthless, then you can do via a Tokyo cut. And if INR will go below, then then this leg is protected. What would happen if just before the maturity INR would reach to top? So take an example. You had taken a twelve month contract and just six months, just two months before the maturity, INR went to seventy five as a spot or seventy three as a spot. No worries. 
then you immediately let, let this work less cancel this option contracts and convert the option options into a forward contract so option in nutshell play a very very important role and it is predominantly very important and it's very and it's not very difficult to take even accounting of options is not very difficult so this was the all about and i hope uh, you went through our magazine which is the maverick treasurer which is uh, i which is uh, amongst very rare banking and treasury magazine in asia you are most welcome to connect with me at uh, Rahul Magan eight at the rate gmail dot com. If you are looking for magazine, then you can connect with me at Rahul Magan eighty nine at the rate gmail dot com to get a copy of the magazine. And my connect is known to you, which is nine one nine eight double nine two forty two nine seventy eight. At the end, I would like to reiterate the fact that options are always the most important derivative instrument than a forward contract, because options helps you to protect your receivables and payables when implied walls turn out to be very high. And we all understand that nowadays implied walls are at very high. So, thank you very much, and have a great day.